Hello everyone. Welcome to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. In this video, we are going to do quick revision on power sources. So we'll start on the power sources. What is sources? A source which supplies active power to the network is known as electric power sources like voltage source, like current source are the power sources. It is categorized in two categories. One is independent sources, other one is the dependent power sources. So first we'll discuss about the independent sources. Inside the independent sources, we'll discuss independent voltage source and independent current source. So the independent source, which magnitude does not depend upon the current in the circuit of voltage across any other branch or element in the circuit. It means voltage and current, whatever the voltage and current of the sources are given, that should not depend on any other value of the circuit, current or voltage. That is called as the independent sources. Uh, it is categorized, it is type, it is categorized in two categories. One is the independent voltage source, other one is the independent current source. So it is classified in two categories, independent voltage source and independent current source. So we will see one by one. The value of the voltage at any instant is independent of the voltage or current is called independent voltage source. Its value will not change. Its value will not depend on any other parameter uh, like current or voltage of any other uh, elements in the branch circuit. The terminal voltage may be constant or it may be some function of time. If it is constant like 12 volt, 5 volt battery, 9 volt battery, these are the DC voltage supply. Or we say that this is the voltage source, independent voltage source, DC independent voltage source. When we have VT, that can be written as 230 volt, 50 hertz. It means 230 sine 50 or Vm sin omega t. So it means that this is the function of time, but it is not a function of any other value of the voltage and current. So this is function of time. It is nothing but the AC voltage source, which is basically used in the home appliances and high voltage. Now if we talk about the independent current source. Similarly, value of the current will not change according to the any value of the current or voltage in circuit. Its current may be constant or function of time. This is a DC current. And this is the AC current, which is a function of time, IT. Now, if we talk about the dependent source, the dependent source, in case of the dependent source, the magnitude or value of the source will change according to the some parameters like current or voltage in the circuit of any other branch. The value will change of the source. That source will call as dependent source. It is represented by the diamond shape. In, it is represented by diamond shape, like this. If plus is, if polarity is given inside the diamond shape, it is the voltage source. If polarity is given inside the, uh, if uh, arrow is given inside the diamond shape, it is the current source. Inside the diamond shape, it is a, uh, if, uh, if polarity or arrow is given inside the diamond shape, it is dependent source. If it is given in the circle, it is a circle shape. It is the dependent, independent. It is in case of the independent source. Now, these sources, dependent sources are classified in four categories. One is the voltage controlled voltage source. Second one is the current controlled voltage source. Third is the voltage controlled current source. And fourth is the current controlled current source. So independent sources are of only two categories. One is the independent voltage source. Other one is the independent current source. But dependent sources are categorized in four categories. One is the voltage controlled current source. Second is the current controlled voltage source. Voltage controlled current source and current controlled current source. So we'll discuss one by one all these sources. We start from the voltage control voltage source. Just understand the name in two terms. One is the voltage control, second one is the voltage source. The source is categorized, source is defined as voltage. It is named as voltage source. That means source is defined as voltage and it is dependent source, it means it is inside the diamond shape and polarity will be given inside the diamond. So it is the voltage source. It is controlled by the voltage, it means its value will be function of some other value of the voltage. Let's consider we have a two four terminals. One is the two terminals inside uh, at the input side, uh, other two terminals at the output side. So here, voltage across the terminal A and B is the VAB. Voltage across the terminal C and D are the VCD. So this VCD is the voltage source, which is function of VAB. So here, if we see voltage VCD is nothing but equal to mu VAB. So here, mu is the voltage gain, which is a constant that is defined by VCD divided by VAB. 
or we can say that output voltage divided by input voltage so voltage again is nothing, nothing but the ratio of the output voltage to the input voltage and here vcd is defined as mu vab where vab is the input voltage across the terminal a and b and this vcd is the voltage source value it is depending on vab or it is controlled by the vab so these due to these two voltage it is called as voltage controlled voltage source now if we talk about the current control voltage source the source is the voltage here inside the diamond say we have given some polarity but its value is depending on some current so we have given current is flowing in the input side which is the iab across the terminal a and b current is iab and this voltage vcd is function of iab so here vcd is equal to nothing but r i a v so we can say that this is the voltage source vcd it is depending on the current iab so it is called as current control voltage source because this current is controlling the value of the voltage of the source so this is the dependent source this is the current control voltage source and here r is nothing but ratio of the vcd divided by ratio of the vcd and iab or we can say that this is the output voltage output voltage divided by input current so it is called as the trans resistance r is the trans resistance when we talk about the trans that means it is the ratio of the output and input now if we talk about the voltage controlled current source it means its source is the current it means it inside the diamond you will get some arrow it may be up or down based on the current direction so here current direction is from top to bottom or c to d which is icd current is flowing from c to d and here its value is equal to gm vab so here icd is equal to gm vab where vab is the in voltage across the terminal in a and b which is the input terminals so icd is the current source it is controlled by the voltage so we can say that voltage controlled current source where vab is the input voltage and icd is the output current and output current or uh, source current is controlled by the voltage input voltage and here gm is nothing but ratio of the icd and vab or we can say that output current to the input current so it is called as the trans conductance trans conductance now i will talk about the fourth one which is the current control current source so in such case current value which is in the diamond shape arrow is given inside the diamond shape which is the current source it is value control this value is controlled by the current input current so icd is equal to beta iav icd equal to beta iav where icd is the current source and iab is the controlled current control so current controlled current source this iab and put current is controlling to the value of the output current source which is the icd and here beta is nothing but the current gain which is the ratio of iab and icd it is unitless quantity after that we will talk about the ideal and practical sources ideal and practical sources are also classified in four category ideal voltage source practical voltage source ideal current source and practical current source so quickly we will see in 2 uh, to 3 minutes uh, about all these sources so we start from the ideal voltage source this is the symbol for the ideal voltage source it is the independent voltage source inside the circle we have polarity and uh, if we connect some load across the voltage source like that this is the zl which is the load connected across this so voltage across this load will be equal to the voltage across the source so here vl is equal to vs whatever value of the current in this impedance it does not affect on the source value or load value of the voltage so il is increasing and vl is constant which is equal to vs because it has zero impedance it has no any internal impedance in case of the ideal we consider but practically it is not possible in case of the practical voltage source in case of the practical voltage source we have some resistance across the voltage in series so this is the symbol for the practical voltage so this is the vs independent voltage so it has internal resistance across it which is in the series connected in the series if we connect some load across this terminal definitely we will get some drop it will not voltage across this load will not be equal to vs so vl will not be equal to vs and we will get expression vl is equal to vs minus ILRSC using the KVL we will get VL equal to VS minus ILRSC. So this load voltage is 
equal to Vs minus IL RLC if current IL will increase if current IL will increase from this expression if current IL will increase VL will obviously decrease because of this drop is here because of this resistance RLC so here in practically it is not possible uh, practically it is not possible VL equal to Vs because of internal resistance is zero but it is it may be negligible it has very few value very, very less value of the resistance but it has some value Due to that reason, we will get some drop in the voltage at the load, in low terminals. But in ideal case, its internal resistance or series resistance is zero. Now, if we talk about the ideal current source, in case of the ideal current source, it has uh, one current source. This is a symbol for the ideal current source. Current is flowing from this terminal. If we connect some load, if we connect some load across this, current will flow and Current IL will flow in this circuit and current IL is equal to nothing but IS because there is no draw between it and whatever the value of voltage across this load, the current will be equal to IS. So whatever the value of L, it does not depend on the value of VL, its current value will be IL equal to IS. Now, if we talk about the practical current, so in practical current, so we have some current resistance or parallel resistance across the current. Then if we connect some impedance across this, uh, ZL current IL will flow in this branch and current ISS will flow in this resistance. So current IL is nothing but IS minus ISS. We, uh, where IS is the source current, ISS is the current current, and IL is the load current, obviously. And ISS is nothing but here VL is given across the load voltage. So this is the VL. So ISS is equal to VL divided by IRS. So what happened, if VL will increase, ISH will also increase and IL will decrease. So here we see the relation, v, VL will increase, ISH will increase, if ISH will increase, IL will decrease. So here in this VI characteristic, we can see that IL is not equal to IS for any value of VL. If VL is increasing, source current is decreasing as uh, uh, we are getting from the equation. So usually in ideal current source, sun resistance is infinity, so it behaves like an open circuit, but in practically it is not possible, it has some uh, high value, uh, it has some high value and large value parallel to the uh, current source. So we get RSH in a parallel and we get some drop across this resistance due to that region load current is not equal to the is for any value of v thank you for watching this video 